Oh my god. There's number five. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh my Oh my gosh! In this video, I really want to take you a day out on the water doing a little bit of finesse flipping. This is a presentation that I absolutely love, especially in really highly pressured situations or even in really cold water. It's really about presenting a small compact bait, but putting it into heavy cover where a lot of bass live. On this particular day that I was fishing, I started kind of with a normal sized flipping bait and ended up going to the finesse presentation and started catching a lot more fish. So stay tuned, it's a really good one. Gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh. I thought I was hung in a tree that whole time. Look at that. That's like a four pounder, dude. It's gotta be close. Oh, maybe not four. I got a little excited. Seven. It is a four pounder. 407 to start to start the day. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Look at that fish. What a beautiful fish. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Thanks, buddy. I was just talking about it though. We just launched the boat not too far. I just happened to be looking over and I'm like, I saw this specific tree. And the reason that this tree caught my eye is because it's a big willow that is in the water. When you see, like I was talking about, there's a lot of stuff that's out of the water. The lake is down. And so these type of areas are where you can, where, where those fish are really, it's one of the only places that they can go to if they wanna stay shallow. And obviously that big four pounder, he, he wanted to stay shallow and pitched up my bait. He was just sitting there with it. It was, it was so hard for me to tell, is that a bass? And uh, I honestly, I just decided to set the hook. Like there was nothing, he didn't move. I was just like, I'm just gonna set. So hook sets are free. And then out pops a four pounder. <laughs> Let's go baby. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. There might be another, there might be more fish in a tree like that. So. I'm gonna, I put the raptors down and I'm gonna pick it apart and we're gonna see. But that's a, that's a way to start it. There's another one. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, that is not a keeper. Look how he got hooked. That's weird. On the outside. I don't think that's a keeper. Look how thick that little bass is. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. He wasn't in the exact same spot as that big one, but he was pretty close. Mm. 
gonna pour a little Mountain Dew on him. That really helps to kind of stop the blood. So I know this isn't a tournament, but still want to keep them from bleeding if I can. 330. Good fish. Good fish. I'm gonna let them go real quick. 330, baby. Thank you, bud. Man. I made a change, started fishing a little bit faster, and uh, I made a change in my bait. I went down to kind of, I was just kind of thinking that maybe there's been a lot of guys that have come through these trees, and I decided to go with a quarter ounce weight and a really small, compact, uh, crawl style bait. And that fish got it deep, obviously, and he got it good. So he did swim away all right, but hopefully this might be a little bit of a deal. There's a number of trees right through here, and I'm gonna flip them, feeling confident. Let's get it done. Now, before we get into the rest of the fishing, this video is brought to you by my apparel company, Finn Fishing. I am really excited to announce that Finn Fishing now has a pair of shorts, the all new duck shorts. These are a lightweight, stretchy, extremely durable material that is also water resistant. You can see that the water just comes right off of these things. It took me almost three years to get to a finished product and to get these things right. I have a really darker kind of charcoal color that I call after dark, and then I have a lighter gray color that I call light gray. So anyways, right now they are in stock and they are on sale, kind of an introductory sale. I'm gonna leave some links down below in the description. Shopping at Fin Fishing is truly one of the best ways to help support the Bass Fishing HQ channel, and I greatly appreciate all of you who have done so. I'm still gonna try to fish through these trees, not like super fast, but not super slow. I don't, you know, that that fish gets me excited and I wanna believe that there's a lot more fish here and hopefully there are, but I just, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I mean, I got bit pretty quick over in that other section too. And so if I get another bite here and pretty soon then maybe i'll really slow down and, and and pick it apart but man that water is like a bathtub that water is almost 90 degrees baby maybe we can slow down i don't know guys just got another solid fish right there he's probably over two pounds i uh been getting some good quality bites today finally finally putting a couple in the boat and uh the water the biggest difference let me weigh this fish quick oh yeah 240 240 solid fish right there solid so we got 978 with three biggest difference that with this kind of stretch of wood is that the water is a lot more on the muddy side i've been fishing pretty clean water even some green water but right now where we're where we're at i mean it's it's pretty muddy um so maybe that's the ticket uh that second i got i mean that's my second bite in a pretty small section so it kind of gives me the ability to really slow down. Actually, what I'm fishing here is a, a little Ohio River Special, which is the good old Zoom Speed Crawl. Um, I got it on a quarter ounce weight. So it's a very compact, light setup. And uh, I'm also dyeing the tails of this with chartreuse so it's just a uh, very little bait 
and uh this is like i said it's an ohio river special because when you fish real high pressure systems like this little bait can can be a really good little flipping bait so Now, even though I got this a uh, pretty light, compact bait, you know, I'm, I'm still throwing it on pretty heavy line. I'm actually throwing it currently on what I would consider my, my grass flipping setup. If you guys watched my video on uh, a lake up in New York, I use this setup a lot. And it's actually a 30 pound braid, a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And um, I don't usually love this setup around wood because I don't love that braid the lead or not going through the wood um, but in this case this wood is all pretty shallow enough that that knot's really not getting into the wood at all so i don't really have to worry too much about the knot itself um, and plus i, I just wanted another i, I kind of wanted to keep the setup that i had got bid on so much earlier today i kind of wanted to keep that setup on my lot my rod i just wanted to try something new kind of have a a backup thing and So that's what I'm doing right now. When you use that, when you use that braid to fluorocarbon kind of setup, you can kind of typically go with a lot lighter uh, power and action rod. Especially, you know, this rod's a seven foot one inch. It's actually made for a buzz bait, but it's perfect when I'm kind of doing this finesse flipping uh, right now because it's it's just so small. It doesn't feel like I'm overpowering the bait by any means. That is not keeper, but he was still fun. This are you let's go. Mm. All right guys. Bam. Number four. But we gotta get five. We can't leave the day without getting five. So we definitely gotta get five. That's a 231. Man, I thought it would be kind of hard, you know, judging by the tournaments that I've had. And maybe it is, I'm just kind of, you know, I got 12, I mean, I got a couple of nice fish. So 12 pounds with those four, and we get one more, then it'll be a, be a good day. It's a solid little fish right there. 
caught, I think that's our fourth fish, our third keeper in a, in a couple hundred yards section. And we still have probably another couple hundred yards. So I'm just gonna fish this on through and uh, we'll see what's bite. I gotta get number five. Maybe we'll call up even. Um, I'm really pumped though. Let's go. There's number five. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn. All right. There's number five. That fish weighs 213, which puts us at a little over 14 pounds, 14 and a quarter pounds for the day. I'm gonna let that fish go. And honestly, I thought 11 pounds would be pretty hard to achieve. And we got, we got a couple of the right bites. I mean, we got that four pounder, another three, almost three and a half pounder. So those help a lot, uh, but it's just a fun day. You know, I decided when I got here that I wasn't going to target the offshore stuff. There's a lot of offshore structure. When I've been here in the past, I fished a lot of offshore structure, but I decided let's just go beat the banks and uh man I, i'm really pumped about that with, with the struggle of the day that it was to be able to come away with 14 pounds i i can't tell you that I, well i'm just pretty excited I'm, I'm pumped about it so guys i hope you enjoyed this video um i hope that you can stay positive the next time that you're out there and struggling because i know that i was struggling bad today earlier don't forget to check out the fin fishing gear and i will see you guys in the next one